day 136 of my journey um seven mile run today pretty good uh mobility workout on on hamstrings and um good day so i was running there's lots of things that go through my mind and the things i want to talk about and not with all not even have all the answers just to discuss um I was going to talk about stuff that doesn't matter, but I, I changed my mind. I'm going to talk about stuff that actually does matter. Something that does. Depression. Um, I was thinking back on the depression that I would, I would, I used to say I went through. And that was, um, you know, I, I think it hit a peak in 2019 2020 i actually think it was much longer than that but what i want to talk about is how many people around us are in that same boat that we just don't know the insecurity the fear that's going on inside of inside of them and is that how we wind up being drunks, being fat, being just consumed with entertainment and really not accomplishing anything because we are so afraid? Until I hit that climax, which I hope was the climax, of my depression. Well, number one, I didn't understand how helpless, how the smallest thing that smallest decisions became impossible decisions. I didn't understand it. Now I do. Another thing that um, would happen was I would have friends of mine and 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 well-meaning. They would say, well, go do, go, go, go play golf, go do this or go do that. But I knew, I knew those feelings and the fear that I felt, even if I escaped, and maybe that's what's happening with people getting drunk and high and, and overeating and constantly being entertained. Um, getting so caught up in a sport um, or a team with a sport and 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 just it's the escape and I knew that even if I went and played golf if I could actually get through the round without feeling this darkness inside of me when I would be done it would be back and as I was running today I was thinking um, and I'm going to get back to running on this for a second uh, and what I think that actually does but I was thinking do you ever get through it or in the back of your mind do you know now you know that there is a fear that can be so dark and so deep that it can break any person. No matter how tough you think you are. And frankly, I am really not that tough of a guy. Um, because there are people that have been through crap that I can't even fathom. You know, from... It... It just, just stuff from beatings, from um, rapes and stuff of that nature. I mean, yes, I was sexually molested as a kid, but not raped, not beaten, not any of that stuff. And I actually think that's the first time I actually, I ever actually said that on a video. Um, but, um. I know that it's still there. 
And here's what I think, at least in my brain, what I'm doing with part of this journey, and I didn't even understand this 136 days ago. And it's what I'm able to do now is I'm able to push myself and push my brain to, to, to go beyond what it thinks I can do. 136 days ago, if you would have asked me if I was going to attempt to run 20 miles in one setting, I would have said no. That didn't even cross my mind. But now I'm like, okay, I failed at that last week. But what I'm saying is, you know, I don't know the scientific evidence behind it. I've heard that, you know, it, it releases endorphins and, 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 and things like that, that that do make you feel better. What I do know is my pants fit better. My jackets fit better. Some of them don't fit as good because they're too big. But how many people around us might be sitting right next to you in a movie theater, in your house, at your job, And they're scared. They're really scared. And, and um, it's easy to be scared today because all you've got to do is turn on the news and you've got to worry about this, this sickness, this cancer, this, this bomb, this murder, this, this everything. But in your daily life, are you experiencing most of that? No. But it's fear. It's fear of whatever it might be. But it is so dark that it has, it has drowned you of all your energy, all your fight, all your imagination for a better life. And um, maybe that's what we've got to find. We've got to find that energy. Find that community. That community that that no longer is is driven by fear, but wants to create a better world, not through governments and things like that, through the actual community and the members of that community doing the things to make life better. I have no doubt in my mind that the issue of hunger could be solved very very easily in every city town and neighborhood in america if we would focus on making sure there's enough food why and i'm looking across this this parking lot here in, in wichita there's trees that the city has passed what if it was apple trees what if it was a tree that is native to this land in here in kansas that could grow food that people could just go feed pick i'm telling you it's not that hard it's not that difficult if we will just wake up, if we will come together as a community. And instead of being fearful, we become hopeful. Love you guys. See you for 137.